now that we need a uh, climbing animation from the hang this is going to be nice so braced hang to crouch I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna download another animation crouch I'm going to use this one, just a default crouch. So once we're done downloading, I'm going to, again, put them into my Mixamo folder. I'm going to rename them, hang to crouch and crouch idle. I don't think I have to rename that and change the animation to humanoid. Configure sample T bind pose apply done. Rename it here as well. Hang to crouch. For now, I'll just check them all. And same thing with the crouch idle. Humanoid configure. Simple T-bind pose, rename the animation, crouch idle. This one's going to loop. Okay. So we're going to go from hanging idle to hanging to crouch. And then we're going to go into crouch idle. And in order to go from hanging idle to hang to crouch animation, I'm going to go to the states player and I'm going to create a new folder for hang to crouch, which is the climb. I need the indexer transition indexer. So player hang to crouch indexer and I'm going to use index one and the conditions are going to be up and jump. So while you're hanging onto the ledge, if you press, if you press jump and up, then we go into the next animation. So first I got to add the indexer and make a transition okay get rid of the exit time and the index has to be one let me check the indexer script Here, I want to make sure that after making the transition, we want to set everything back to zero. So we don't automatically trigger the next animation. So save everything and go back to Unity. Okay, for now, let's just test it. We haven't done everything that's needed, but Let's see what happens. Okay. Looks like we are triggering the next animation, but it's out of place. So we're going to set the offset here, make it higher. I'll just try negative one for now. We're going to have to do some fine tuning. Try again. So if I press up and space, go up. Looks like negative one is a bit too much. Negative 0 0.7 maybe. Let's try again.
Okay, I think I like that better. I think I want to divide this animation into two parts. So let me duplicate this, control D. And I'm going to call this the end. And for the first part of hang to crouch, maybe up to right up to where he gets up on the ledge. 50. Fifty two, maybe. Okay, so the first animation is going to be from zero percent to fifty two. The end is going to be fifty three to a hundred. Okay, so let me go to the animator and add. another step in between hold on I think I forgot to rename it here and drag it in there oh shit not again okay and we're just going to make the transition based on exit time because as soon as this animation ends we're going to automatically transition into the next one I think I'm going to make this an instant transition First, let's check out what it looks like. It doesn't look too bad. The problem is, if we look at this from the scene view, so when we make the climb, the box collider, in the position of the player is still here. Um, so I think we have to make a teleport at the end of this animation. So let's exit play mode. I'm going to go into my state scripts and create a new ability specifically for teleporting. So I'm going to call it teleport on ledge. Kind of similar to offset on ledge. Let me press control T and get the offset on ledge. And I want to copy paste the format because it's going to be quite similar. First, we got to change the name. I'm just going to get rid of this to start fresh. Because in the previous video, we've separated the animator, game object, and the character control, we would have to get the character from using the character manager. F12 to go into character manager. And I'm going to create a function to get character using the animator as a parameter it's going to be similar if the skin mesh animator is the same animator as what we've put into the parameter then we return the character control if nothing matches then we return nothing so let me go back to teleport on ledge and we first get the character by using the animator Again, character control. And once we have the character control, we want to move the position to an offset. And we also want to move the skin mesh animator into the offset position. Okay. 
And we also want to set the parent back to the character control. And we're going to get that position info from the ledge. So control T going to ledge. And I want a public variable. Call it end position. Save everything. Let's go to Unity and click on the ledge. And for now, I'm just going to guess the position here 0 0.05, slightly up, and maybe 0 0.1, slightly to the right. And let me go back to the code, teleport on ledge. So at the end of the animation, we want to move the box collider and the animator to the end position of the ledge. And we get that from the ledge checker, grab the ledge, end position. Actually, let me put this into a variable here, end position because we're going to use this to put the character control into its position as well as the animator. And we set the animator's parent back to what it's supposed to be. Okay, let's save everything and go back to Unity. Let's see what happens if I click play and do the ledge grab. Grab and up up and jump okay doesn't look too bad I think it needs to move to the right a little more so let me exit play mode first let's make sure the foot IK is turned on for everything and go back to the ledge and make it let me try 0 0.2 that might be a little too far but let me just try it, see what it looks like. Oh, we forgot to add the ability. So let me go to player and to crouch ability. I forgot to add the teleporting ability. Teleport on ledge, player, and to crouch, teleport on ledge. Go to the Y-Bot animator. And we're going to do it at the end of this animation. We didn't, didn't have it, so I'm going to add it now. Teleport on ledge. And let's see what happens. think the position is horribly wrong. Oh, let me exit play mode. I think I wrote the script wrong. Okay. So this position is going to be a relative position from the ledge. So control ledge checker grab ledge position add the offset. That would be the end position. Go back to Unity and try again. Okay, I think the position is all right, but the animation uh, the ending mm. let's make this based on the position of the feet okay and try again
Okay. Seems to be fine, except this should be at the end of the animation on exit. So we're teleporting at the end of the animation, not in the beginning. Again, save and try again. This is just a lot of fine tuning. Okay, looks all right. Mm, except, I think we need, we need to add a bit of an offset to the Y position. Bring it up just a hair, maybe 0 0.05. And try again. Okay, looks much better. I think 0 0.05 is maybe a too small. Let me try 0 0.1. And for the beginning part, I want to bring it up a little more. Yeah. 0 0.5. Eight maybe, and let's try again. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Let me look at it from the bigger screen. Okay, let me make this just a little lower seven. Seven five, mm. and I'm gonna speed this up maybe 1.3. Okay, and try again. Doesn't look too bad. Let me take a look at the first part. Mm. Let me try the original here. Okay. Let me try the original here as well. Okay, and test it again. Okay, now I like it. Now from crouch, we go into crouch idle. And again, it's going to be based on exit time. And I want this one to be smooth. And crouch idle. I'm going to use original here. Change this to feet. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, looks good. Let me look at it from a bigger screen. Okay. Now when we go into crouch idle animation, I want to toggle gravity and other stuff back to normal so hmm. let me just create a new folder crouch idle go in there and i'm going to create some toggling ability toggle box collider toggle gravity okay, first let me toggle gravity back on player crouch idle toggle gravity on so I'm gonna click on on and start 
And if I look at the animator, the crouch idle is going to have the gravity. And if I click play again, let's see what happens. Probably something horrible is going to happen. Okay. We also got to turn on the box collider. Toggle box collider. Player crouch idle. Oops. Toggle box collider on. On start. And let's try again. This time the box collider should collide with the ledge or not. Let me check the code. First let me get rid of all gravity and this shouldn't be false. This is based on our public variable. Okay. Save and let's try again. What the fuck? Well, I think we forgot to add the ability. Okay. So toggle box collider and the gravity and try again. Let's hope it works this time. And finally it does. Let me look at it from the scene view. And if I look at the character again, everything should be back to normal so ybot is back to its character control and everything seems fine okay let me exit play mode and see it again okay looks good so this has been nothing but a bunch of fine tuning between different animations, transitions, and a combination of abilities. Now all we got to do is transition from crouch into um, back to idle. And that's going to finish up the cycle of hanging, climbing, crouching, and then going back to idle. And I think I'm going to finish this up in the next video. So that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching.